Hey, what's up everybody? Justin Myers back here with another video for y'all. So in today's video, I wanna share with you all my favorite do everything amp is what I'm calling this amp. This is the Diesel VH4 amp. Now, before I go on with this video, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video and drop a comment down below with what you guys think. I love hearing from y'all. And if y'all would like to show your support for the channel, I have a Venmo and PayPal tip jar linked down below in the description box. Thank you. Now on with this video here. So here's the Diesel VH4 in that intro playing segment there, which is on the channel three, which is really famous with this amp. That's what everybody knows it for is that channel three, that higher gain kind of tone. And it feels great to play. I love that channel as well. It sounds awesome. And this amp just in general, it really does everything really well. I think that's kind of the thing with this is that this channel one, like the clean on this thing is just incredible. And I think it really goes overlooked because a lot of people think of it more of like a higher gain kind of tone kind of amp, like a lot of metal guys use it or whatever. But honestly, if you're a rock player or even if you play country, I mean, I feel like you could honestly do a gig with this amp. I mean, if you're playing country, you know, I would pretty much just stay on channel one the whole time. I wouldn't even use any of the other channels, maybe channel two, uh, depending on the kind of country that you're playing. If it's a little bit more rock and roll, that may be cool. But, um, you know, really, if you're a rock player or you're a metal guy or something, I mean, this is a really great amp for those kind of uh, styles of music. Now, for me, being based here in Nashville, I mean, I mainly get hired on for country stuff. But a lot of the modern country that is coming out today is a lot more rock and roll than it is really kind of that telly chicken picking kind of more twangy kind of tone. So um, I do use this amp occasionally. Now, I really would only use this amp on a rock gig. That's kind of more of my thing. Um, you know, so whenever I get calls for rock bands or something like this, really what my approach would be, honestly, is that if I was touring full time with a rock band, I, I would just take out two of these. I would just have one as my main and the second as a backup just in case something went down. But I tell you, I've owned this amp for years now and I have not had a single issue with this thing. I mean, it's just rock solid. So anyways, just to go through some of the features of the amp here. So there's four channels, obviously. There's the channel one, which is the clean, which the clean channel is just amazing on this thing. I, I love the way it sounds. And you can crank the gain up too and really get it to kind of drive if you wanted to do that. But I normally just use it as a clean channel. It takes pedals real well and just sounds great. Channel two is like a JCM 800, which is a little bit more gainy. Um, I actually shot out the channel two with a real 80s JCM 800 and I dialed up an exact tone of how that 80s JCM 800 sounded. I mean, it literally sounded identical to it, but I would say that with the gain sweep that's on the channel two, you can get a much higher gain tone in comparison to the JCM 800. So kind of like a modded JCM 800 is how I'd call that. Then channel three is a higher gain thing. It's what the diesel's known for, for sure. I mean, really for me as a player with this amp, I really only use the first three channels because that is just the max amount of gain that I really want to be using as a player. This channel four is really, really compressed and there's a lot of gain. I mean, it is cool to have as a uh, another channel and it's another option that I could use. Um, it does feel good to play leads on it, but really for me, I just use um, the first three channels on this thing. So it's really easy. It looks like there's a lot going on, but it's really easy to dial up. It's really just a three band EQ and a volume and a gain per channel. So it's really easy to dial up. The deep is like a resonance, which, um, you know, that'll add low end to the tone. The presence knob, of course, adds top end and just an overall master volume. So that's exactly how I had that set in that first little playing segment there. So now I'm just going to go through and uh, go through each one of the channels so you all can hear that. And to share with you what cabinet I'm running it through, this is a Bogner 212 with Celestian Vintage 30s. And I just have that double mic with a Royer 121 and a Shura Sum 57. So now let's start off with the clean channel here. All right, so I got everything plugged up here. I'm just back here with my R9 Les Paul and I'm going right into the amp and I'm starting off here on channel one. So that is the clean channel and everything on the amp is set up exactly the way that it was set in the previous clip here. I'm just gonna cycle through each of the channels and just share with y'all what it all sounds like. So they're push buttons, so I'll have to reach over. So bear with me here, but uh, I just have this R9 Les Paul and as I say, I'm going straight in. So let's take a listen. Thank 
All right, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it as always. Be sure to stay tuned on my YouTube channel. I have a bunch more content coming out. Be sure to subscribe, like, and drop a comment down below. Thank you guys so much again. I really appreciate it as always. Y'all stay tuned. Got a bunch more stuff coming out. Take care.